welcome to another 10 or less of the best. I'm loving this series, can you guys tell? So this one is going to be not on specific products, but specific brands. Cruelty-free brands to be exact. Now, I'm going to set this, preface this with, I know all my makeup is not cruelty-free. I don't claim it to be. Um, cruelty-free makeup is something that is, I believe that is really important. That it really is something that should be across the board. I do believe that. Um, I want to work in the makeup industry, um higher up in the production and researching of cosmetics and I will make sure I don't test on animals because that's not what I'm about. I know all my makeup is not cruelty free and I'm saying that because the in the comment section y'all let's just chill with all that all the judging and all the name calling but I will encourage you if you guys I did some research on these on these brands but um, if some of my info is off, which I don't think it is, but you never know, or something new came up, and you guys know, feel free to talk to each other and comment about these things in the, because this is really important, in the comment section, um, so you can, y'all know, conversate, but like I said, all the judging and what I should do and what I shouldn't do, we can leave that at home, because I know this is a touchy subject, but I wanted to bring it to you guys, because there are some awesome, awesome brands, and if you are looking for cruelty free, here you go, and actually, I have 10 total, 10 or less of the best, I have 10, which is awesome, and there are plenty more, but these are my favorites, and I'm going to give you the brand, and I'm going to give you a couple things I recommend from the brand, how, how we doing, we liking that, alright, let's go. I have some drugstore and some high-end. I'll start with the drugstore ones. The first brand, everyone knows that it is e.l.f. Now, e.l.f. is Happy Bunny certified, if I'm not mistaken. They are partnered with PETA. They do not test on animals. Before I even, let me back up. And when I'm, I'm naming cruelty-free brands, not vegan or organic. Those are different situations. I'm naming specifically brands that don't test on animals. Some of these brands may be vegan as well, but I'm just doing cruelty-free. Do you understand what I'm saying? Not testing on the animals. So that's all I want to put out there. So, Elf. Great. Stands for eyes, lips, face. Their stuff is really, really cheap. I will link all of the websites to these brands the websites down below to everyone that i name so elf um what i recommend i mean any products they're so cheap that helicopter scared me they they're so cheap so they have products as low as a buck as low as less than a buck on the web ooh, on the website and they always have a sale they always have a deal so anything is worth trying because you're not really taking a risk um but i do recommend their shadows their press shadows their single shadows are really good. The ones in the palettes, not as good quality as the individual, specifically their creams. These are the smudge pots. I definitely recommend a great alternative to a color tattoo um, or a paint pot. And their long-lasting lustrous eyeshadows are really weird texture and really something interesting to have in your collection. And both of these are $3 a pop, so that's really, really awesome. All right, next we're going to move on to Wet n' Wild. Wet n' Wild is found... Um, I think they have a website, but Rite Aid, Walgreens, CVS, that's, it's a drugstore brand, obviously. And what I recommend from them, I think they're Happy Bunny certified. And I, I looked this up, but I should have wrote, I didn't write down the Happy Bunny part. If you don't know what Happy Bunny is, it's a little bunny on the back of products that says, that, um, says it's cruelty free. Um, if I find one throughout this, damn it. All right. Not prepared whatever but anyway um the wet and wild i recommend so many good things but i recommend the eyeshadows and the lipsticks the eyeshadows these are the um color icon trios they come in many different colors and they're like they're three dollars or less they always have a sale buy one get one free 40 percent off at these drugstores i recommend those they're probably one of the best quality eyeshadows in the drugstore and for like the cheapest price really really nice they have some good singles as well and then you have their mega last lipsticks there's about 26 in the shade in the in the line they come out with limited edition ones different collections they come out with a lot of them they're all matte lipsticks really creamy matte lipsticks um really really nice finish oh that's nice finishes really 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 nice consistencies and very comfortable and these are what a dollar ninety nine a piece so yeah we're, while doing it the next drugstore brand that I have is Milani Milani is a cruelty free brand at duh <laughs> and um, I love Milani one of my favorite things about Milani is their gold packaging I'm not even a big fan of gold but it's really really pretty 
Um, Milani makes a lot of good things. Milani also owns Jordana, which is in the drugstore, and they're also cruelty free as well. Um, but I recommend the Milani lipsticks because they smell the bomb. They have a lot of pretty face products, blushes, and everything. But I just want to grab a couple from each line, not everything, because you can buy everything. <laughs> um, their lipsticks smell so good. They remind me of MAC lipsticks. Oh my god, but they're cheaper. Um, <laughs> they're about four to five ninety nine. They have great lip liners and their lip glosses. Oh my god, they have the Mega Shine lip gloss. I'm sorry, Brilliant Shine lip glosses, and ah, oh, Milani is the bomb. Um, the More Matte lip creams. Milani is the bomb. Cruelty free, awesome. The next cruelty free brand that I know is Happy Bunny. Why can't I find a damn bunny? There you go. Here's the bunny. This is what, let's see if you can see this. See that bunny and it says cruelty free? That happy bunny. That's what that means. Okay, so NYX. NYX, you can find NYX at Ulta. You can find it at like your local beauty supply stores. But mass production is usually at Ulta or the NYX website. And oh my gosh, NYX has great foundations, great powders. My favorite powder foundation is from them. Um, they have... Oh my gosh, their lipsticks are the bomb. Their Mega Shine lip glosses are like one of my favorite lip glosses. I'm wearing one now. The bomb, the bomb, the bomb. But really, really, really drugstore quality. I mean, high-end quality for drugstore price. Their eyeliners. Their eyeliners are absolutely awesome. So, ooh, excuse me. <laughs> this is the Epic Black Mousse Liner. Oh my gosh, it's like nothing I've ever felt before. It is absolutely amazing. I think it's 10 bucks or less. And it's really, really good. They also have... Liquid liners. They have so many liners in so many different ranges for a drugstore brand. I mean, they have liquid, pen, felt, retractable, sharpenable, glitter liners. I mean, they have vinyl liners, vinyl finish, matte finish liners. Like, their liner selection, and they have black and brown colors and other colors. And so many different types and gel pencils. I mean, NYX eyeliner collection is extensive for the drugstore, and it's absolutely awesome. What more can you ask for? The next brand is a fairly new brand, but I'm, they are cruelty free, but they're also, if I'm not mistaken, most things are vegan as well. Um, you have to look on the website to see. I think all of their, go on the website, I'm sorry. Um, all of their lip, it's like all of something is vegan, and then like almost all of something else is not. It's like, Go on the website, I'll link it down below, but I'm talking about ColourPop. ColourPop is a fairly new brand, USA based, um, and, I mean, if you're watching a YouTube video, then you know about ColourPop, and, yes, most of their products are vegan, and they actually have on the website, if you go to, like, their frequently asked questions, they have a list, everything is vegan except, and they break it down to you, but everything is cruelty free, which I think is awesome, um, so this, I recommend, Again, everything that I own from them. Um, <laughs> but the lippy sticks, which are their lipsticks, five bucks a piece. I know, right? Five bucks a piece. They're these skinny, retractable pencils. Really easy to reapply, carry in your purse. They have a load of shades. I think they have over 30 shades of these lippy sticks for five bucks. And each lippy stick has a corresponding lip pencil, like lip liner, that matches the shade awesome the next thing is their super shock shadows and like pressed pigments they're like a cream powder hybrid and they're the prettiest things i've ever seen five, again five bucks a piece super awesome and of course their ultra matte lippies i love these these are six dollars a piece if you're a fan of matte liquid lipsticks for six dollars and they have an amazing color selection they have over 30 shades on their website now of these ultra matte lippy sticks so definitely check out ColourPop. all right now we're on to the high-end brands like the brands you can find in sephora on the other side of Ulta, okay? So the first one being, I wanna I put an asterisk beside this because NARS. NARS doesn't test on animals, but they are owned by, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know who they're owned by, I didn't write it down, but their owners do not claim to be cruelty free. NARS claims to be cruelty free, and I've read different sources. They are cruelty free, but whoever owns them is not, just in case you wanna know, feel me? All right, but my favorite products, if you're going to get anything from NARS, I don't have that many things from NARS, but I de 
deck. <laughs> Definitely recommend the Radiant Creamy Concealers. These bad boys are the bomb dot his arm okay um a little bit goes a long way they are on the expensive side but they last you forever i still have my first one that i bought maybe like a year ago um they like they have a wider range of shades which is always great their foundations have a wider range of shade range of shades they cater to all skin tones which i do appreciate but i do recommend the radiant creamy concealers from nars awesome all right, the next brand is Too Faced. Too Faced is, through my research, it does not test on animals. Um, like I said, discuss it down below, but I did so I did some serious research for this, and the consensus, they don't test on animals. Check in the website. <sighs> okay. Um, I keep reiterating that because I don't want somebody to come here. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, and I don't own too many face products. I don't own... Oh, that's gross. I don't own too many face products or... Um, Main, my favorite thing from Too Faced is their eyeshadows. And if you're going to get any palettes, of course, I'm going to recommend the chocolate bar palettes. Um, this is the chocolate bar, and this is the semi-sweet chocolate bar. Their shadows are awesome. I just bought the Stardust palette, and I'm actually wearing that today. Um, that's what that looks like. They make awesome quality shadows. And this chocolate bar palette, of course, smell like chocolate. But, um... Yeah, definitely I recommend their eyeshadows. And they have a bunch of smaller, I, I want to say mini palettes, but usually around nine pan palettes. And they're so pretty. They have a bunch of them. And I think that is so awesome. They always come out with a lot of palettes. I appreciate a brand that can pump out new products consistently. So that's Too Faced. The next brand, I have an asterisk beside that as well because they claim to be cruelty free. Um, but their owners, I know for sure are not. So, the brand I'm talking about is Urban Decay. Urban Decay is cruelty-free, but they are owned, as of when I did my research, by L'Oreal. Um, and L'Oreal is not, does not claim to be cruelty-free. Alright, but Urban Decay, um, they make the bomb, bomb shadows. Like, I recommend their shadows. I want to try their foundations. I heard they were good. Their face products. I have a couple of them, but not enough to recommend to say favorite, favorite. But the Urban Decay Electric is one you should definitely get. I don't own any of the Naked Palettes, but I, I know that those Naked Palettes are awesome. They have really, really beautiful nude shades, but I'm more of a color girl. So this is the Electric Palette that is absolutely thebalm.com. It's a pressed pigment palette. So you can use it for your hair, your skin, your eyes, your face, your lips, whatever. And then the Vice 3, um, I don't own the 1 or 2, but the Vice series of palettes are really, really beautiful and they have a really, really, really pretty color scheme and very pigmented, very, very, Urban Decay always pushes the boundaries when it comes to colors and packaging and awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, um, the next where am I? The next high-end brand that I have on my list, I don't know why I got a brain fart there, is Becca. Becca, it, I don't know how new they are. Not that old, not that new. Becca can be found in Sephora, and I only own from them, I have her primer, but her shimmering skin perfectors why can't i speak right now the shimmering skin perfectors again if you're watching a youtube video then you know all about becca and shimmering skin perfectors these are like the highlighters to die for like awesome colors um they have the jaclyn hill champagne pop um which is actually back in my sephora store i went in there today and it's actually in the store again so that is looking really really pretty that's champagne pop champagne pop and becca claims to be cruelty a cruelty free brand so if you were interested in those in her cosmetics, there you go. All the more reason to try them out. And then finally, 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 my favorite brand, high-end brand, Lorac. Lorac is a um, cruelty-free brand. Now, Lorac is an independent brand, meaning um, last time I checked, no one owns them. You see what I'm saying? But... Um, they released a statement on her website, cruelty free. Um, I don't think they're Happy Bunny certified or whatever, but we do not test on animals and we do not do business with suppliers that do. That's like her statement on her website. You can go check it out. Y'all already know what I'm about to recommend. The eyeshadows, again, Lorac's Pro Eyeshadows, in my opinion, are one of the best formulas, period, anywhere. Um, the Pro Formula I have the Lorac Pro 1 and 2 here. If you had to just buy one, go with the 1. Um, it's much more flattering to all skin tones. 
So this is the Pro Palette. Then you have the Pro 2. Y'all know I talk about Lorac all the time. The Mega Pro, anything and everything you need is in her shadows. She also has the Unzipped and Unzipped Gold, which are not pro. Like her non-pro shadows are still phenomenal. And her pro shadows are just even more phenomenal. So... And Lorac is one of those companies that I can appreciate that pumps out like smaller palettes around different times of the year but is constantly pumping out palettes and product. You can appreciate that. Like I do not like companies that wait a whole year to put out a new product. That's why I don't like Apple. Uh, shade thrown. Shots fired. Um, but yeah. So that concludes my cruelty free, my 10 or less of the best cruelty free brands in my opinion that I have tried I know there's a bunch of more that I haven't tried but that I've tried let me know what you think again keep the comments down below constructive and caring and awesome and informative so like I said if I miss something or you have another brand that you love let it know let me know down below your favorite products and everything like that I love you all and until next time be cool kids bye